okay so let's talk about batch input session okay so here what you see on the screen is a user is entering data into SAP data entry screens and that this data is going into the SAP database now other than the manual data entry SAP also receives data from other non SAP applications and other SAP installations so how that process happens first the data is stored as batch input session the program batch input program could be used to read the data from the external world and to save the data as batch input session then another program called process batch input runs which reads the data stored under batch input session and feeds that into the SAP database now something unique about this batch input session is that the data is stored in such a way that when it's read it's read as if a human being is basically sitting there and doing the data entry so this data goes through the same validation process as if somebody is entering data manually in the SAP database okay so that's something unique about batch input session uh, it goes through the same validation process it's a little different concept than uh, the uh, interface tables and sometimes the data is interactive as well so if user enters this then ask uh, user this question then user uh, chooses this answer then do that so that is how the batch input session works okay so this is how the data could be brought from external system into the SAP database